it was four hours, to be honest with you. Okay. Three, four hours. Who was doing you most of the time? Uh, Doug. Uh, you think of Doug's Doug, name? No, Doug, yeah. yeah. And Doug, and yeah, it was great, but uh, it was, I think the hardest part about it was, and I don't even say hard, it was just to get the life cast of your head done mm -hmm. so that they can make the makeup for you. Because that's when they pretty much cover your whole head in goop. Got two little holes in their mouth and where you can breathe. Then they wrap your head with this, uh, look like mummy bandages that turn into almost like bricks because they have to harden. Then they have to peel it off of your face. So when that's there, your whole head is immobilized. And the only thing you can do is breathe out of these two holes. And it's kind of warm because it's got to heat up to set. And then when it finally sets, you can take it off. So after that was done, you know, because you're going to suffocate. But uh, once that's done, then, you know, it was easy for me to do the makeup because all I had to do was just sit there. So but for the first hour of the makeup, you know, Doug had to apply the top part, then the eyes, then, the, you know, the lips and the mouth, the, the jaw part. And so I had to be awake for that. So I could either stay awake, and then he would also bring in his laptop, and I'd just watch movies, and he would just uh, do it. So I ended up seeing maybe two movies while the Makeup was being done. Or sometimes I would just um, I just sit there for the first hour, keep my head straight and everything, so I can do the the original part, the appliances and everything, glue those down. Then I could lean back. Sometimes I just fall asleep and then he'd wake up and say, "Okay, your makeup is finished." So, <laughs> so it wasn't that difficult for me to do. I had to just do a canvas. Uh, tell us about the process of ape school, um, and if if any of that also happened once you had things like all this heavy uh, costume and makeup on. Uh, give, us a, give us a little bit of a sense of the training that you needed to, do, to go through. You know, the, when we were training for the ape school, it wasn't rigorous or difficult. I mean, I've been an athlete most of my life, and then I was trained as an actor, so we had to learn how to move on stage anyway. There was just a certain way they wanted the gorillas to move and walk. And uh, once they got that down, we just kind of would walk back and forth in the gym and get our movement down, and that's how we just pretty much set it for the film. What, what were some of those adjustments that differ from the way you would normally walk? Well, I stand straight up and down. <laughs> uh, the gorillas pretty much had to bend at the waist a little bit, but also arch their backs a little bit, and also bow our legs. And then our arms had to be kind of bent outward a little bit and then back inward. And all that had to move as one, and we just kind of moved that way. And I think Tim was also uh, wanted the apes when they ran to actually run on, uh, with with all four the quadruped, yeah. yeah. Which is again funny for me because I used to fight for that and the you know did gorilla suit stuff, you know, because a number of the movies I did as a gorilla, they wanted the Hollywood version of a gorilla, and it's like a biped, you know, gorilla, and I go, no, no, they walk on all fours, you know, and you know, I, I wanted you know did these arm extensions so you could walk quadruped and look right, you know. I personally was against the quadruped stuff and it's because these are like more humanized age you know they've got long legs and short arms and so when they when they're running quadruped you know their head is kind of down on the ground and their ass is up in the air and they have these big helmets on which you know I, I just thought this to me it didn't work <laughs> no uh i just you know and again it's like what happened to the older thing <laughs> you know, that, you know it, there was a time when i would have loved the fact that they were doing quadruped stuff you know, but i just thought it just looked wrong with that posture. Yeah. You know, the only time it looked really good, and I remember them coming back and telling me about it, was when they were had those uh, uh, those rigs, where they were, if you saw them running on the sand, they had uh, just like it was, maybe it was a carpet or something, it was like a big they were pulled by, the, pulled by a truck, and they were running on that carpet, and so they were running past Horses, yeah. and that was done all in so camera. Would pull them along, so, so they would go like it was a pretty cool trick, trick, you know. Uh, and it looked good there, but yeah. yeah. And again, I think there's too much of them jumping around the wires and the, the fine gravity stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, 